Okay, this sequence. What have I done here? All right, see root seven is coming in. So what I'm doing is I'm timesing by square root of seven. And I'm timesing that by the square root of seven. Because if I times two root seven by root seven, I'll get two times, and then root seven times root seven is four, or is seven, and two times seven is 14. And now I've times that by root seven. And so finally I need to times, and finally the next thing I need to times that by root seven. And that'll give me 14 times by root seven. That's what I've got at the top. Times by root seven is what I'm doing now. And if I do it in this order, root seven times root seven is seven by definition. So I just got to do 14 times by seven, and that will give me uh, 98. So not many marks for just for that, but it's 98. Find the nth term. Well, they definitely start with two, and we're definitely timesing it by root seven, and it depends on how many times I times it by root seven. So it's going to be root seven to the power of something. First term hasn't got any. Second term, I've got one root seven. The third term, I've got two root sevens. The fourth term, I've got three root sevens. And so I'm going to basically each time, I've got times by root seven by one less than that number. So it'll be the nth term will be n minus one. Just check it works. Third term, when n's three, I'll have to times it by three take away one. It was two, so I got times by root seven squared, uh, times by root seven, and another time. That's correct. Find the value of the 21st term divided by the 17th term, which well, geometric, so it doesn't actually matter which one I've got. So I could go, I've gone from two, I could call, consider that to be the 17th term. So 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, it's equivalent to 98 divided by two, which is 49. And this only works because it's a geometric thing, because when I divide them, the, the twos all cancel out. So it's just what I have to times by. To go from the 17th, I'd have to times it by root 7, and then times it by root 7 to get the next one, and then times by root 7 to get the next one, and then times by root 7 to get the next one. So it's 17th. That's 17th times 1, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st. What have I times by? That's 7 times by 7. That's 49. So divide a bit with 49. And uh, that's question 14 done.